Today I've got some wires to solder onto my solar panels and the tools for this job are rather simple. You need solder, soldering gun. Uh, you want a high heat soldering gun so you don't have to dwell on it too long. Uh, my sponge for cleaning. I've got my uh, red and black solar wires and that's it. So let's get started. I'm going to remove these four screws off the back here, take this off and then we'll look and see what's going on underneath there and what we have to do. I've got the cover loosened, and you'll notice here I've marked plus and minus on the frame just so you can see it. I've also marked it inside here. It's in the plastic, it's molded into the plastic, but you definitely, definitely, definitely want to make sure which side is plus and minus before you get the water wires soldered on here. So, okay, so we'll set this uh, top off to the side. Our red wire will be the um, positive, and our black wire will be the negative. We'll get these uh, stripped off. Uh, we're going to need, you know, just like that much. You can see that, like that much, not very much, just enough to come in contact with this. Um, and yeah, so okay, I will uh, strip that and I'll be right back. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pre tin this, and that is because I don't want to spend any more time applying heat to the solar panel than I have to. I don't want to melt this plastic. I don't want to pop the other solder joints. I want to get this thing. Uh, get the solder in here, get some solder down here, pre-tinning, this is not a bad idea. Then you can just put the two things together, add a little bit of heat, and it will join with, with the minimum amount of time and minimum amount of heat transfer to the solar panel. Before I forget, when you're tinning these leads, do not work over the top of your solar panel. If you drop uh, solder beads onto some of these surfaces, it will ruin some of the panels. So yeah, don't do that. Uh, keep all of your work here, uh, keep it protected. If you have to, you can put tissue underneath here, which is a good idea. Like I will do that before I start. And yeah, uh, definitely make sure you don't flip any solder off on these surrounding areas where you'll damage the panel. The next thing I've done is I've placed it through here. If you remove this uh, ceiling hardware right here on the box, be sure to put it back before you do the soldering because if you have a plug on the other end of this wire, you're gonna have to desolder this all to to put that nut back on there. Not fun, trust me. Okay, so I've got this pre-soldered uh, end in here. I've got it crimped over, and I've added a piece of very damp tissue to help protect this, the rest of this uh, uh, electronic work back here so that it doesn't overheat. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add solder here and get this done as quickly as possible. Get it on here. Any extra solder I need, just add an extra dab of solder and get out of there and then let it cool. And let's do this. Clean tip on my soldering iron. Get it down here. Get the uh, tip wetted. And you can hear it. Uh, And quick inspection, it looks like we have a good joint. After you've checked uh, the solder joint to make sure it's good, the last thing is just tighten this nut here. If you're going to use a tool like this, make sure that when you twist it, the end of the tool does not impact and score the surface of the solar panel. Usually I just use my fingers, but if I have to use a tool, a box end wrench is good and then don't go, don't carry it too far over so that you uh, crack or score the bottom of the panel. Yeah, that would be a bad thing. Okay, so just get the nut tight and then we'll go on to the second uh, wire. And the second wire is the same. We pre tin it, we make sure we have the right color wire. This is the black wire. We have our nut loose. We insert our wire in here, make sure it's lined up. We give it a crimp to hold it in place. Now I always solder, I won't just rely on the crimps. So yeah, I don't crimp it real hard. I just crimp it enough to hold it in place while I'm soldering it. Uh, we'll put our tissue in place and then we'll, uh, we'll solder it. Okay, let's do this. We have our protective tissue in place. Get my fingers 
face down here so I can see what the soldering iron, soldering done. These take a lot of heat, especially with these big wires. And like I said, you don't want to spend any more time on here than you have to. You definitely want to get a good joint, but you uh, don't want to hang around any longer than necessary. You don't want the plastic housing to be melting, and you certainly don't want to crack the solar panels with uh, too much heat. Okay, and the last step is to, of course, remove any protective tissue you have, tighten down this nut, make sure you've inspected your solder joint before you close things up. Um, and, and the last thing is we'll put on this cap and screw it down. I will do another video on how to install the other ends, these plugs, so I won't do that here, but uh, here we've uh, shown how to solder here with good reliability, protecting the solar panel, and ensuring uh, that you do a good job without any damage. Okay, well I hope you found that useful and interesting in your solar projects.